Hello everybody, Mr. Fitz here, and I'm happy to be telling you that I'm teaching you this lesson from my basement. Um, and uh, so we have an added bonus, not only that I'm in my basement, but you'll hear occasional clarinet sounds coming from upstairs because my wife, Mrs. Fitzgerald, is upstairs teaching. She's a band director in Brookfield. Okay, so today's lesson has to do with what we call the multiple bounce stroke. Now, so far we've been playing whole notes, half notes, and quarter notes, and using what we call single strokes, like this. Like one and two and three and four. And when we play our drum or our pad, we make a single sound. Now, one of the key things about uh, drumming is that we want to hold our stick in such a way that we have a pivot point or a fulcrum with our thumb and index finger holding the stick and the three fingers in the back kind of guiding the stick but not grasping it tightly. Um, so if you have the proper grip, what you do in order to do what we call a multiple bounce stroke is you, you push the stick down onto the drum head. So rather than letting it bounce up and pick it up to get a single note, you just push it down. And if you watch my hand, you notice my hand is not really doing anything, like I'm not going like this with my hand. Rather, the stick is just buzzing. And the reason it's able to do that is because it's only held at one point. So one of the things to watch out for if you can't get a good buzz might be that your fingers in the back are grasping too tightly and then it, it just prevents the stick from buzzing. So let me see if I can get a little better angle here. Maybe can, I'll play it this way. So I'm grabbing tightly. Now I'm just going to relax these fingers. Now another thing to watch out for with the multiple bounce stroke is that if your grip is loose in the front, meaning you don't have a firm grip between your thumb and your index finger. Do you see how my finger's set up there? So let's say my finger grip is a little bit loose. We don't want that either because there's no control. So what we just want is a nice, a nice buzz, right? And one last thing to watch out for, I've seen students do this, is to let the grip sneak back into the back part of the hand so that it's being held by the three fingers in the back. And that kind of works, but it doesn't give you the same amount of control. So you really want to make sure you have your index finger and thumb using that nice firm grip. Don't have to squeeze it to death, but just a firm grip so that the stick can pivot and do its bounce. Now what I recommend you do with this is start with your predominant hand your right hand to your righty, and just try to get a nice buzz. All right? Once you're able to do that, try it with your opposite stick. All right? And by practicing that, you can get a nice, even buzzing sound. And that allows you to do to do a drum roll, okay? All right, now, in the book, when you're looking at line number 23 and onward, you're gonna see these notes with Z's on them. Sorry I'm crouching down here, but I just want you to be able to see the drum head, and I don't wanna to be too far away. Um, so when you see those Z's, you're gonna do a multiple bounce stroke on them. All right, so let me demonstrate. I'm gonna play for you line number 23, which is called Merrily Go Along. And this, by the way, is a yellow belt song. All right, so here goes. Hmm. I'm gonna reset this. I have the score book with me today, it's huge. All right, hopefully this is not gonna sink down. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna play for you Merrily We Roll Along. Snare drum part. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and four and one and two and three 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 and four and Okay, you might have heard I did a random extra note in there. Um, now, once you've got that, you can play all the way through page nine and just kind of have fun with it, all right? So keep up the good work, practice hard, and if you have any questions, just ask me, all right? See ya.